I went to Target today and found some Dragon's Exalted blisters. So I picked up both of them, uh, Excadrill and a Lilligant blister. So it looks like both of these come with two cards, uh, with the Hollow card being the special promo card. And then it looks like um, one booster pack and maybe a sampling pack. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, it looks like, yeah, we can read about it on the back. One black and white Dragon's Exalted booster pack, a a three card promo pack and a two card Pokemon evolution chain. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Excadrill first. And uh, I'm gonna start off with the Excadrill first just because the Excadrill is, um, it's a different hollow than uh, in the set. Uh, it's, a, it's the Emerging Powers Excadrill. But unlike the Lilligant, it doesn't come with its own promo number. So Lilligant is, uh, let's see, black and white promo number 49. And so it fits nicely long in that set. Makes it easy for collectors to keep up with. Unfortunately, Excadrill is not so easy to keep up with, with the just um, alternate hollow. So pop that out. And beautiful. Still, I really like this holographic style much better than the actual black and white holographic style. Nice, simple, with just a little bit of sparkly effect. Just kind of brings you back to the to the older uh, hollow styles, the I guess old days, whatever. But it's just a ni nice and simple, and doesn't have the the big streaks running through it like we have um, in our black and white series hollows today. Uh, the drillbur is just a regular card, so nothing really special about that. I'm going to keep the Dragon's Exalted Sampling Pack sealed uh, because usually they just have like common and uncommons. I really have not seen any documented evidence like video um, of anything other than just commons and uncommons being pulled. And so that's really not going to help me even... Um, yeah, so they're cool little collector things though, so if anyone would like a Dragon's Exalted Sampling Pack, I'll, uh, I'll give it up for a buck. But we're going to open up the Dragon's Exalted Booster Pack. So there's nothing I need from the set, but I'm hoping for an Ultra Rare because there's still lots of Boundaries Cross stuff that I want. And uh, I think really all, actually, all that I need to complete the set are the Full Art Supporters and three of the Shinies. But, um, yeah, even, uh, yeah, any, any Ultra Rare will hopefully help me get those. So let's go ahead and... Uh, hopefully we'll get something good. Stunky, Mareep, Ninkeda, Mencino, Golette, Silcoon, ooh, nice, as well as, and Skuntank, my reverse, ooh, Shedinja, that's a rare, and my rare, oh, it's just a Beautifly. Uh, Beautifly is a pretty cool card, though. If it wasn't a Stage 2, it would probably be really useful. It's first attacks, triple energy. You search your deck for three different types of basic energy, and you get to attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. That'd be a great energy acceleration um, engine to use if it wasn't a Stage 2 Pokemon and it didn't use up an attack. So hopefully we'll get something a little better from uh, the Lilligant uh, Blister Pack, if I can open it. Maybe it's because I, I, was, I was saying that um, the Excadrill wasn't as cool since it didn't have its own promo number. Maybe that's why I got bad pulls. But I do really like the Lilligant. And uh, like I said, for collectors, it makes it a lot easier to keep up with when they have numbers rather than just um, you know have variations in the hollows. Alright, so there's the Patillo. Nothing too special about that. But there's the beautiful Lilligant. So I'm going to sleeve that guy up, and or this girl up, I guess it's more of a female than a male, and add it to my collection. And I also like this the simple, again, just like Excadrill, the simple hollow style. Just not anything um, glamorous, uh, not as bold as the black and white hollow effect, but just nice and simple. So, alright, Dragon's Exalted pack number two. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, well, that's an interesting way for the pack to open. Two, three, one, two. Roselia, Magmar, Fungus, Apom, Bidoof, Durant, Vigoroth, and Sock. My reverse is a wall rain, which, uh, hey, that's another rare, so that's not bad. Two rare reverses. And my rare, oh, <gasps> full art ho-oh-ex. 
Ah, beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Uh, sleeve, sleeve. Here we go. Sleeve. Keep it nice and in mint condition. All right. So there we go. Um, $5 blister pack and uh, what, like a $20 Ho OEX? I like it. I like it very much. So, like I said, uh, cards I'm still looking for. All of the shinies from Boundaries Crossed, except for Rocky Helmet. All of the Full Art Supporters. I possibly have Sharon and Bianca coming in, so Skyla would be uh, a big priority. ho -Oh, um, oh, this is a beautiful card. Full Art. So, ah, oh, I, I absolutely love it. Usually I have terrible luck in blister openings, but this is just... Ah, beautiful, beautiful card. So, all right, and so I'm glad I, I waited for that one until uh, second. I wouldn't, uh, you know, ending the video on a beautifly. Eh, but still, really cool. Uh, so really cool blister packs. Beautifly, Ho OEX, and two rare revs. But like I said, the big reason for getting these were to add the Excadrill and the Lilligant to my collection. So, like I said, you got anything I want from my list? Offer it up for the Ho OEX. All right, so stay tuned for tomorrow, which is a featured Friday, so I'll be checking out a new card that I've recently added to my collection.